What is up, you guys? It's your boy Chucky Fanatic back once again with another video. And today, I figured since with season three coming up pretty soon, I would figure that I would review the first two seasons here in this video. So anyway, let's start off with the first season. Now, the first season is a pretty good season overall, with some problems here and there. I like the lead character of Jake. I like Devin. I like Lexi. All three actors do a really good job. Chucky, the animatronics are really, really good in Season 1. I like the new damaged look that he got in Season 1 with the, you know, with him all, you know, melted and stuff. That was a really cool look. A lot of the kills in the season were really good. Like with the, like with the detective that got the needles, you know, or, or, you know, Jake's aunt that got, you know, pushed out of, you know, a window by Chucky, that was really cool, and, um, we did, and, um, uh, Alex Vincent, Christine Elise, Fiona Dorf, and Jennifer Telly do a good job, however, um, on the Tiffany side of that, um, uh, um, as far as the legacy characters go, Fiona Dorf, she was the best part of both seasons, for sure, can't go wrong there at all, and as far as Andy and Kyle go, they don't, they don't get enough to do, like, 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 they gunned down one of the Chuckies at the beginning of episode 6, and, like, they don't get to, of season 1, but they don't get to do anything. Same thing in season 2 as well, they don't get to do much, you know? And, like, however, at least, thank goodness Don made CD did not just say, you know what, I'll bring him back just to kill him off, screw it. Thank goodness he did not say that at all. And season 2, guys, and, um, uh, and, um, uh, and um, a lot of the storylines in season one, like after you watch season one and go to season two, a lot of the storylines in season one, it's pointless. Him getting a kid to kill, the activation of all these Chuckies, that is just pointless because they literally drive that off a cliff at the beginning of season two. And like also in season two, you have like um the Colonel Chucky and the whole, the buff Chucky that was really freaking stupid. Like, stupid, not the Chucky that we know and love at all in season two. Yeah, um, uh, um, uh, like, not the Chucky that we know and love at all in season two. And in season, and again, the only good thing in season two is the kills. That is the only good thing. The one positive, as well as Fiona Dorf as well. She's, dude, she still did a really good job. But, like, but, like, I do love the... The, the kill, you know, where, he pu where Buff Chuck, you know, punches a hole through the one, through the bullets, you know, chest, like, that was really cool, and, right, and, and oh my god, the one-liners, the one-liners in season two, just, oh, oh my, that does not resemble the Chucky that we know and love at all in season two, guys, it just does not, in season one, you had, you know, some really good one-liners, but, but, however, some of them did fall flat, and again, him doing stupid stuff, him wearing that stupid Hello Kitty mask, him killing someone by throwing up all that alcohol on them, and electrocuting Jake's dad, like, that was stupid, that was dumb, and, like, um, he looks more, he doesn't look, he doesn't even look scary anymore, he, and, like, they, and, like, they show him during the daytime. Now, yes, I understand that the first three movies, they did show him in the daytime as well. But, like, it's not, like, it's not the dark tone. That dark tone that the first three movies or Curse had. Even the Charles fan film had that. Even, hell, even the dang footage of the Chucky Wanna Play game had the dark, scary Chucky. Like... The, the dang show so far just doesn't know what it wants to do. And, like, it introduces, like, all this interesting stuff. And then they kill it off. And, like, they literally kill it off. And, oh, my God, Tiffany. Tiffany is so freaking whiny in season two. Just, oh, my. they totally, wow. They totally also ruined it. Tiff Tiffany was a badass in Bride of Chucky. Now she's a whiny ass. I'm sorry, guys. Just as a passionate Child's Play fanatic that I am, it's just I have to address the stuff that pisses me off. I have to, you know. 
And that stupid, that stupid ending of season two, where after, um, you know, the last Chucky w- gets, you know, chainsawed, right, by, um, uh, um, uh, by Lexi, you got that stupid ass ending where Tiffany was about to do the chant on the Bell doll, you know, the original Bride of Chucky doll, and then guess what? And then guess what? Um, he, it was Chucky the whole time in that Bell doll, in drag, and like, that was so freaking stupid. And again, all this stuff that, you know, you know, that is revealed to us, you know, like, holy crap, Jennifer Tilly's saw and still inside the, the original Tiffany e doll. Nope, she gets ran over by a car. Oh, by a truck, I mean. Holy crap, you got this Colonel Chucky that looks like he's gonna, you know, do some crazy stuff, right? Nope, killed instantly, scissors to the head. You have this exorcism episode that, you know, one of the Chuckies goes inside of, you know, um, uh, uh, Father Bryce, right? The the priest character at, in season two. Nope, dies, explosion. Nope, he explodes. Like, all the stuff that... Freaking like like thinks it's gonna go somewhere and it doesn't. It goes nowhere. Season three, I swear. Season three, you better get back on track. Please. Because if season three does if we still continue this goofy comedic stuff that we're still on with, with season three, I just I don't even know, guys. Because like just go back to the dark, scary Chucky again, please. Either that or just Don Mancini, pack up all your stuff and just, you know, just like, just, you know, just let Chucky go. I feel like after season three, that's what you should do. Just let Chucky go. No more seasons. No more show. You know, just do one last big epic movie that, you know, concludes the franchise and we can finally put Chucky back in his box, you know, and I hate to be that way, you know, I'm somebody that, you know, is a diehard child's play fanatic, of course, you guys know that, and I would much rather have more Chucky than no Chucky at all, but I'm sorry, guys, I think it's time to end it, yes, even I gotta admit, you know, it's, and it's not me that says all this stuff as well, it's Romy, it's Nightmare Crypt, it's Damn Dude, It's 3C, it's Chucky Fan, it's all of us, you know, so like, yeah guys, those are just my thoughts and reviews of the first two seasons of the show, let me know what you guys think, I'm gonna do season three, I'm gonna do season three, and I'm gonna review the episodes, but after that, Don Mancini, just... Just do one more movie so we could just conclude this franchise and so you can finally put Chucky back in his box and just let Brad Dorff finally go home and, you know, just enjoy his last few, you know, days, weeks, months, years on at home until he eventually sadly passes away. You know, because, because he can't keep doing this forever, you know, he can't. So anyway, guys, those are just my thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Goodbye, guys, and as always, have a chuck day.